What's up guys? This is going to be a um, special unboxing. This is actually some movies I was sent by Wild Eye Releasing. Um, this is my first package from them. And they sent, I don't know if you can tell here, there are 11 films here. It was a big old box in this uh, Arctic wasteland we have right now in, in Minnesota and Midwest in general. It's been, what is it? Today's Thursday. It's been 50 below with wind chill. Uh, the last two nights and regularly been between 30 and 40 below with wind chill. Without wind chill, it's been 25 below. It's been pretty much awful. Um, I was working from home today, which um, was kind of nice actually. But um, it's uh, it's been crazy. It's been really cold, and I'm glad I got some movies to watch uh, over the, the the weekend and stuff. But although it's not going to be as cold anymore, so uh, either way, this was a pleasant surprise. I was expecting just a couple new films. Um, that were they were releasing the next week or so because I think they're releasing something specific. I, it's, I'm sure it's in here, but I'll check. But um, I was not expecting this many films. I'm gonna have to work overtime to read the to watch these. But um, anyway, without further ado, here are the films they sent. They, they also sent me this, this sticker. That's awesome. That's a nice way to show you what I got here. But uh, I'll put that on my laptop or something. Uh, but anyway, I've got like I said, 11 films. I've seen none of these. I've actually heard of a couple, but um, like I said, I haven't. I just kind of pulled these out, stacked them up and um, turn the camera on, but I did look at them quickly just to see what movies they were, and I recognized a couple, but most of these I have never heard of. So uh, without further ado, let's take a look at them. Um, the first one here is called Open Wound, and it is unrated. It says Time is Up, Wild Eye, Raw and Extreme. Um, number 11. Ooh, are these numbered? I'll have to check and see. This one says number 11, but I don't know if it's a um, continuation of anything. Um, actually, you know what? Let me take the plastic off because it's very shiny. So this is the first one. Like I said, I've never. This is the first package I received from them. And there is the disc. And there's some background art too. You can see there. There's a woman that looks like she's chained up or tied up or something. I can't tell. That's cool, I got background art too. Just make sure the disc's not scratched. No, it's good. Okay. The box this came in was, was smashed a little bit, so I was I wanted to make sure I opened these that way too because um I was worried, but um and they were also freezing. These all these discs were freezing. They've been sitting here um on my desk for the last twenty minutes, half an hour, and they're still pretty cold. But um looks like these are okay. Oh this one's okay anyway. Anyway, let's take a look at the description here. Welcome to the ultimate unsafe space. It's a picture of a weird looking guy with a fucking messed up eye and a woman back there and some screenshots there. I cannot tell what's going on. Looks crazy though. A man and a woman, friendly chat about art, sex, and alternate realities gets out of control. A man and a woman trapped together in a room having bizarre sex, playing mind games, self mutilating. But do they really? Did the man rape the woman? Or is she trying to blackmail him by hurting herself? Secret motives, unexpected twists, illogical moves, even the couple seem to be confused of their situations when a mysterious man enters their prison. Now things get really bloody and bizarre. That's a fucked up description right there. There are trailers and there's a chapter select, and so basically just trailers. Um, it is 96 minutes. It is not rated. I think a lot of these are not rated or are unrated. DVD, and it says on the back here, warning, Extreme content recommended for ages 18 plus. So even though it's not rated, it's actually giving a age range. So yeah, this looks fucked up. <laughs> I'll have to check that out. But like I said, I've, I've heard nothing about most of these, so I'll set that aside. Let's, here. Let's do the next one here. I don't want this to be too. Uh, that took five minutes, so I want to make sure I go a little faster than this. <laughs> uh, the Forest of Lost Souls. One of the best horror movies of 2017. That's Newsweek that said that, so that's pretty cool. That's an interesting poster there, or cover art. The saddest place in the world, and she is happy to be there. Hmm. That is neat. This one is not numbered, so it must not be part of a set or anything. Sadness will last forever. Art house horror of the finest caliber from Buddy Disgusting, and uses metric tons of doom and gloom from Dread Central. That's... Pretty cool. There's actually some selections up here too. I don't know. I'm not. It's not insinuating this is like uh, upper caliber or anything, but it's, it's it's got some recognition at least. That's cool. Let's take a look.
no background art, but um, it's still cool. I've got a discard. That's the same image that's on the front. This looks okay. Take a look at this here. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Sadness will last forever. Two strangers meet in a forest notorious for suicides and decide to learn more about each other. Soon it becomes clear that one of them is there for a much more disturbing reason and is actually a psychotic killer there to prey upon others and end their sorrow for them. Sorrow for them. Interesting. Bonus features is an audio commentary, deleted scenes, fight rehearsals, a short film, and trailers. So actually, there's quite a bit on here. Interesting, there's the credits. Written and directed by Jose Pedro Lopez. Hmm. Portuguese with English subtitles. Oh, it's a Portuguese film. Interesting. Cool, though. This next one is called Bone Hill Road. That looks like a werewolf of some sort. Unrated director's cut. Awesome. Hunger shows no mercy. And there's a picture of a two women. It looks, or yeah, two women hiding behind a station wagon, trapped on the side of the road. Looks like not a good place to be when there's a werewolf roaming around. This is one of those older cases. This looks good. So I'm just checking because the, the box was damaged, so I want to make sure the disc isn't scratched or anything. But, um, no background art, but that's fine. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, look at that. Is that the makeup effects there? Interesting. 8 out of 10, a bloody, scary, hairy story that'll have you howling with delight. Horror Society. Stranded, but not alone. With brains, heart, and plenty of guts, Bone Hill Road is one of the mo one of those rare werewolf movies that actually delivers. Interesting. And there's some. Oh, let me zoom in here. Some scenes. There's probably transformation scenes and whatnot. Here's the synopsis. Maybe I won't read these because it's taking too long to read all this stuff. So you can read that. Emily and Eden Stevens escape a violent domestic abuse situation. Well, I want to read them too, though. So <laughs> maybe I will read them. I don't know. Uh, terrified and alone, they are stranded in the woods, hunted by a werewolf. When they find shelter in a nearby home, things only get worse when they stumble upon a psychotic killer and his hostages. Wow, really? It's a fucking shitty area they live in. They must all work together to get out alive as a family of werewolves and the deranged serial killer close in for the kill. They gotta worry about a serial killer and werewolves? That's... They have some bad luck. And they escaped a uh, domestic, um, uh, abuse at the same time, so they need to get out of that town. That's a cool image, though. Hunger shows no mercy. Again, this is not numbered though, so I don't know if that was just the one. Let's just take a look here. Yeah, and these are numbers. So the very first one I looked at had a number on it, another one, none of these ones do, so there must be something else. To look into that, but. Okay, as to the next one here. Cruel Summer, based on a true story. One day changes everything. Wild Eye Releasing, DVD. A harrowing idyll, 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 excuse me, <coughs> harrowing idol of society at its most adolescent self-destructive, adolescently self-destructive, excuse me, projected figures, that's the name of the uh, place that mentioned that quote, I don't know, or a person, I don't know, Brutal, brutality of humanity is exposed in a film that may leave your cheeks wet and your stomach turned without your head, those are weird. Um, a gut-wrenching, haunting look into the pitch-black recesses of the human mind from Horror Society. Those are all crazy <laughs> descriptions, so I don't know. Based on a horrifying true, true life event, Danny, an autistic teenager, is bullied and tormented by a group of thugs after he ventures into the woods alone for a camping trip. Their rage against him is based on lies spread by a local girl who claims Danny committed a crime against her that he had nothing to do with and leads to a day of deadly violence. That's not good. Includes a director's commentary, Fright Fest interview, and star Danny Miller interview. And there's the credits there. And this is from 2016. It says UK. I don't know if that actually means it's from the UK. Is that? Yeah, it is. Actually, I didn't mention it here, but um, 
Bone Hill Road says USA, and it says 87 minutes English. 2018. 2018 film, too. Unrated. Closed captions. This one actually had subtitles. Excuse me, I didn't mention this before. This one does. It's widescreen English. Oops. 5.1 stereo. 2016 UK film. It's not rated, which is typical. 80 minutes. Cool. I want to open this up, even though. I'm guessing it's doing the same artwork, but I may as well just open it up. Look at that. Oops, it's all blurry, sorry. Interesting. This looks good. That was Cruel Summer. Okay, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm not going very fast, so I'll have to move a little faster, guys. House on Elm Lake. Evil is here to stay. It's a picture of a, is that a doll or something in the water? And there's a picture of a hand coming up. Looks fucked up. This one will give you nightmares from, uh, what's that say? Dead celluloid. <coughs> Excuse me, I got like a cold I'm still hanging on to, sorry. Nightmare on Elm Street meets Amityville Horror. Nightmare Maker Reviews. Morbidly beautiful. Terrifies while delivering mind-bending visuals and exceptional performances. It's their house, not yours. A couple and their young daughter move into a lake house that remained unsold due to the brutal, ritualistic murder of a family years ago. Soon, they realize that a dormant evil has awakened, a possessive force that has preyed on unsuspecting families like theirs for centuries. And there's the credits, and this from 2017. Uh, U.S. U.K. release apparently, 96 minutes, 5.1 closed captions, and also not rated. Like I said, most of these I think are not rated. House on Elm Lake. And it just looks, oops, there's actually a smudge on there. Looks okay, there's some, I don't know if you can see that, there are some marks on the interior there, which I know that's not something you usually want to touch, so I'm not going to mess with that, but that's interesting. Better desks were clean. I guess we'll see if that works out. And that was House on Elm Lake. Cool. Oh, this one, this is the one I actually heard about. Actually, these next two I think I heard about. Karis Hell, which is a really cool title. <laughs> uh, step right up and die. <laughs> That's funny. Um, there's a picture of a unicorn uh, carousel. It's got flaming eyes and flames, and there's lots of flames and skulls, which is really cool. I have a feeling a lot. the best part about these films, a lot of them, is going to be the poster design, which for things like this, that's usually just fine because um, that's just what they are. Um, exactly what, what the horror community needs from Horror Society. This is one pissed off unicorn. Uh, okay. Uh, Duke, a carousel unicorn, hates his job. He has to let kids climb on his back and ride him for hours every day, but one kid has finally pushed him too far. Duke breaks free of his eternal carnival hell and embarks on a sadistic, bloody rampage of revenge on humanity, staring. Holding. Staring with a house party full of soon to be. Is that supposed to be starting? Is that a misprint? I think that's a misprint, so. <laughs> Starting with a house party full of soon-to-be victims. Staring with... Yeah, I think it's supposed to be starting. They're missing a T after the R there, but... I, I, I follow you. Horror is in a damn good place right now, but that doesn't mean there's no longer a place for silly, fun, and over-the-top horror. Bloody disgusting. Bonus features. Commentary track, cast interviews, three scenes. Bloopers and trailers. Bloopers are always fun, especially in horror films. And here's the... Uh, credits. It says 2018 English USA, 70 minutes stereo, and very not rated. <laughs> okay. They can actually have varying degrees of unrated now, which is cool. Shit. It was put in there. Got the disc, Karis Hell. 
It's actually slightly different because of the background, but it's the same uh, artwork. This is actually 2019 release, so it's a very it's a brand new. So this is actually the one that's releasing, I think, this week or last week or something, as a new film from Wild Eye. I didn't say it's, it stars uh, Stephen Rimpici, Haley Madison, and Chris Proud. I recognize Chris Proud's name. I don't know the others though. Step right up and die. This that's actually pretty cool. I'm gonna watch that one first. That's messed up. This is the other one I've heard of. Cold Run. I like this cover art. Is that a camera? It's got a camera that he's frozen to the ground. There's monsters back there. Look at that. This is one of those... I love movies like this because even if they're not great movies, going, it reminds me of uh, when I was a kid going to um, Blockbuster or Mr. Movies or um, Hollywood Video or, you know, the family videos of the, of the world and uh, renting things based on the, horror, the cover art, horror movies specifically. And um, it was just so fun to watch movies like this and go like, look at that. Look at that image. Look at the name. The Lucky Ones Freeze to Death. And, um, and watch a film based on that alone. Because that's all you needed, especially with a group of friends, some popcorn, and a Friday night when you were a kid. Oh, hold on. <coughs> well, I guess I could take the plastic off. But that's why I like stuff like this. Because like I said, the movies aren't necessarily fantastic, but it's the atmosphere of it and the fun that you play with this stuff. And obviously, these aren't going to be A-list films because these don't have the budget of um, bigger film industries. But um, it's really cool that these are put out like this because there's still a following. And there is some discard, which is the same as the cover. And this looks fine. And there's some background art there. Let's take a look. See, picture of an eye, and that looks like that's all it is. But cool. Let's take a reading of the. <coughs> uh, let's see here. Are you ready for a new nightmare from Bloody Disgusting? Immersive, intense, horrifying from Night Vision, and bone-chilling terror from Room Morgue. 1976, two journalists visit the French-Swiss border to investigate a series of cattle mutilations for a TV show. Once they arrive, the scientific team they were to meet has gone missing. Escorted by a British biologist and an American forensic investigator, they will go looking for the missing team deep in the mountains, but will find something ungodly that has stalked the Alps for centuries. That is an awesome description. I am down with this. There's some images, but you can't really see them very well. But um, It definitely looks low budget, but I'm, I'm liking this presentation here so there's the um <coughs> there's the credits sorry uh it's france that means it's got yeah french and english subtitles 2017 86 minutes stereo and not rated there's a um a legal line there from wild eye do they all have that legal yeah they do Duh. that's cool cold ground let's do let's do the snarling Look at that. Hmm. Don't Cry Wolf. It's not a werewolf film, I think. A New Moon Has Risen. That's a fucked up picture. Look at these pictures. Messed up. In a rural village, the cast and crew of a horror film find themselves accused of a rash of savage murders when the cursed move... move oh, excuse me. When the cursed movie they are making is connected by police to several gruesome slayings, seemingly committed by some sort of monster. While the locals interfere in the production for their own gain and detectives try to pin the deaths on the filmmakers, the body count grows as the unstoppable beast remains on the loose. <coughs> Excuse me. That is an interesting premise. Don't cry, wolf. And there's the disc. Actually, I think I'll just leave it in there. They've all been fine, basically. Um, there's the credits and some images. I don't know if I did this already. Uh, 2018 English, it's a US-UK production. 83 minutes, uh, stereo, widescreen, closed captions, and also not rated. In fact, I think every single one of these has not been rated, so that is typical. Because actually, isn't the ratings done by the, um, the board or whatever that's called? <coughs> and so they probably wouldn't be looking at all these horror films, so that all of these are gonna end up being unrated. Probably, I don't know. This one is called The Sitter. That's... What the fuck? That's a messed up image. <laughs> um, can you survive the night? Apparently not. Wow, look at that. <laughs> it wants her mind, body, and soul. <coughs> Jeez, I'm sorry I'm coughing so much, guys. I thought my cold was over, but... Watch this in the dark with a few candles lit and expect to feel a cold shiver run down your back. 
or Scream's Video Vault. A superb slice of terror that marks writer-director Simon Richardson and star Aisling King, excuse me, Aisling Knight, or Aisling, I forget, I'm probably saying that wrong, as talents to watch. That's from, oh shit, uh, what's that say? Ne ne Nerdly.com, it's so small I couldn't read it. When college student Charlotte is offered a job cat-sitting in a vast Georgian manor over a long weekend, but, hold on, for a large sum of money, she can't believe her luck, but her employers are far from being the harmless eccentricities, excuse me, eccentrics that they appear to be, and when darkness falls, Charlotte's worst fears are confirmed. There is something evil in the house stalking her every move, one who has chosen her for a sinister and soul-possessing purpose. Messed up. Bonus features are a short film called Nightland, um, surround sound, it's not really a bonus feature, is it? But whatever. And trailers. While they're releasing, uh, I'm reading zero. 2017 English, USA, UK, 97 minutes, 5.1, closed captions. And did I look at that? Maybe I didn't, I don't know. Sorry. I know I'm showing it inside and it's never really anything different, but I figured I may as well open it up. The same stuff over and over again, but I may as well. And there's the image. That's the same as the cover it looks like, right? Or is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's the same image. Cool. Uh, let's check out Dead House first. It's a funny image. Don't open the door. I'm ready to director's cut. Cool. Dead House. Ooh, shit, what the fuck happened to that guy's face? Brutal, perverse, graphic, and shocking, modernhorrors.com. Who is the real monster? <coughs> a group of thieves have the tables turned on them ba during a home invasion. Hidden in the basement, they find the remains of secret viral lab experiments gone savagely wrong. Now they must escape before they are infected with a new strain of virus that turns its victims into mutated psychopaths. <laughs> says, not safe for work in every sense of the abbre abbreviation. Boobs, blood, and bonkers behavior are everywhere. Cinema blend. Warning contains graphic violence, nudity, adult language, sexual situations, and is recommended only for viewers 18 years or older. So, yeah. Bonus features. Actor interviews, deleted scenes, location, behind the scenes, and trailers. There's the credits. 2018 English USA Italy. So, but it's an English film, speaking film, it looks like. Closed captions and not ready. Fascinating. This is one I think I've also seen online. I don't know if I've actually seen much about it, but I don't think I've seen any trailers for this stuff, so I'll have to check that out. We'll just, we'll just pop one in and watch it. And the same, yeah. Right? Yeah. Very cool. Well, I'll just check the disc. Should check all of them, but looks good. And the very last one is called Mermaid Song. And that is a scary looking mermaid. His story begins where the fairy tale ends. There's some sharks back there too. <coughs> hey, it's um, um uh what the hell? Um What the fuck's his name? Bolton, uh, uh Reese uh I forget his name, but it's that stupid guy that from the Game of Thrones show. Well, he's an asshole, a giant fucking asshole. Um, the actor's name is Ewa, Iwan, Iwan, Rian, Rian, Iwan, Rian. Huh. Anyway, sorry, I'm just, I was surprised by his face. <laughs> he's playing a sadistic motherfucker again because he played a sadistic motherfucker in Game of Thrones. Forget the Shape of Water, Aquaman, um, or even Disney musical, excuse me. Or even Disney's musical take on how undersea ventures are supposed to have happy endings. Mermaid Song is all about the scares from Sci-Fi Wire. Exceptional storytelling, a film of exquisite beauty. Interesting. Wonderful cast. Rian is deliciously devious. Of course he is from Cryptic Rock. Based on the classic Hans Christian Andersen tale, Charlotte is come. Isn't someone else named Charlotte? Charlotte, yeah, the... The Sitter, I wish someone's called Charlotte, that's funny. Charlotte is coming, I wonder if it's the same um, character. <laughs> Charlotte is coming of age during the 1930s depression, oh, so no it's not. And along with her sisters, is struggling to keep the family business afloat. When gangster Randall, um, 
Game of Thrones, you know, Rian, offers to pay off the family debt. He demands some illegal changes to the business. It doesn't need to be a dash there or whatever. But Charlotte, like her mother before her, is a mermaid capable of controlling humans with nothing but her voice, which creates a battle between all of those who want Charlotte's magical powers for themselves. The important features are trailers and scene selection. And there's some images. Interesting. And the credits. What's his name? On the show, it's... It's Ru Roos Bolton is the name of his father. Something... R Ramsey Bolton, that's his name, Ramsey. I remember now. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> that's that's a big a big name. I think it's the biggest name in all these films. But uh, he looks like a fucking psycho right there, so... Um, anyway... It's 2017 film, English, USA, and Canada. 88 minutes and stereo not rated still. Looks like there's no closed captions for that. I prefer captions or um, um, subtitles or whatnot just because I just like to have that. But you know, it's not a huge deal. We made song. And that looks. Also got a couple things on there, but it's okay. I don't want to touch the disc itself. Cool. Alright, let's get all these out of here now. Shit, I dropped something. I dropped this. So that's it, guys. Actually, no, I'll just do this and stack them all up. So you get one big image here. Well, you can't see them now, though, so Maybe let's do this again. And now it's not even in. Focus, sorry, I'm just being really bad at this. <laughs> but yeah, very cool. I'm, I'm looking forward to watching a lot of these the next couple weeks because I like horror films. This would be great to have a stack of these kind of films to watch during the during a, um, October, during the, the marathon I usually do. Although that fucking wore me down last time, so I don't know if I'll do that as much this year. But this is very cool. I'm excited about this. Especially um, a couple of these. Uh, I liked Cold Ground and Carousel, definitely. And then uh, that last one, the Mermaid sound sounds cool. Forest of the Lost Soul. They all sound pretty neat. There are a couple that I'm not as interested in, but um, all very cool. I'm looking forward to this. So thanks you for thank you for sending me this stuff, Wild Eye. Um, thanks for watching, guys. So um, what I'm gonna do is instead of making well, I guess we'll see. Most likely I'll put um, any reviews I do on Instagram, and I'll leave the uh, link down below for you guys to check that out. I usually review films there, or I look, talk about films there. This is more just to talk about unboxings and whatnot. But we'll see how, if I really do like one of these films, I'll, maybe I'll do an actual like um, video on it. But Either way, thanks for watching, guys. This has been cool. I will get back to you guys um, later, potentially with a review. Otherwise, I'll see you again with more unboxing and stuff. So thanks for watching, guys, and have a nice, warmer weekend uh, in the West anyway. So thanks for watching, guys, and bye. Thanks again, Wild Eye.